Hello, you are watching the Kyiv Post channel with you, journalist Anna Nepli. Today we are in the port city of Odessa. In 2021, Odessa was chosen as a potential venue for the World Technology Exhibition Expo 2030. Therefore, we will talk with the deputy chairman of Odessa Regional Administration, Roman Grigoration. Hello, Roman. Tell us, uh, please, about the main idea and the concept about uh, the Odessa Expo 2030 project. Hello, Anna. The theme of our, uh, of our project, with, uh, which we uh, submitted to this competition, uh, called uh, Renaissance Technology Future. The main idea is that in 2030, yeah, for our mind, uh, the, the, the main discussion and the main question is uh, will be uh, about uh, relationship between technology and between humanity, and uh, what the place of humankind, or what the place of the people will be at that time. If we look to the architecture concept, we also see that uh, in first time on Expo event the old pavilions will be in one style and uh, it's also an idea for our team because in practice on Expo uh, every uh, participant, every state can uh, build their own pavilions in, in any kind of view. The main idea of Expo is about demonstration of uh, new technologies, new possibilities for the people. It is not a com uh, competition with pavilions. And uh, together with Zaha Hadid Architects team, we created uh, this concept in one style. Collaboration with uh, Zaha Hadid Bureau, how it was? As you know, Zaha Hadid is one of the uh, famous uh, architecture bureau in the world. Also, we sent the request to Zaha Hadid and we were in discussion uh, of uh, commercial cooperation, but uh, it was before war, before 24th of February. After, um, uh, after the 24th of February, uh, of course, we had not chance to, to discuss some commercial cooperation because it would be not normal if we uh, put some money, uh, some resources for, uh, for the project like this when uh, on the street we, we have a war. One year ago, on April, I had a call from, uh, from the general director of Zaha Hadid, Manuela Gatto, and they proposed to continue our work. And when I answer, okay, oh, sorry, but we are not ready to uh, to continue a commercial cooperation. They, uh, she said, uh, no, no, you don't understand. We we are ready to cooperate pro bono with you, and we are ready to uh, present uh, the architectural concept uh, for your country, for your people. Ukrainians uh, are incredible, and uh, Ukrainians. Uh, it's a brand of victory and we want to stay together with you and we want to win together with you. And uh, after, after that uh, call, uh, our team uh, had no chance to not to continue uh, this project. Uh, in your opinion, why Odessa should be chosen for this project? Expo history is uh, two, 200 uh, years. And during this period, never uh, Expo be uh, in Eastern Europe. For all Eastern Europe states, it's a big chance to, to get uh, this great event in this part of the world. And I think that this idea can unite uh, all the Eastern Europe countries. Second thing is that one of the main ideas of, of these Expo events is that exhibition must to travel and uh, from uh, mainland to mainland uh, and uh, every every five years it must be provided in a different part of the world and 2012 it was in south korea 
2015 it was uh, in uh, Milan in uh, Italy. 2020, 21 it was in Dubai, uh, United Arab Emirates. What goals uh, especially do you have to do uh, for doing this project? Now um, uh, we uh, successfully passed several steps. First of all, it was an architecture concept. It was a d preparing the nomination this year, on September last year. Uh, we passed the presentation on the General Assembly. Last week, we, uh, we successfully passed the inquiring mission from International Bureau. Uh, and now we wait the uh, positive report from uh, uh, this inquiry mission and uh, the final step is, will be the voting on November and before this, uh, f before, in this period between now and uh, November, the main task for us, it will be a lobby work, uh, it's a uh, um, promotion and lobby uh, and discussing with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of all f member states of International Bureau. Uh, did you face up uh, maybe some challenges or problems and uh, how you will plan to solve them? The, the main challenge and the main problem for Expo 2017 and for generally for Ukraine is the war now. And uh, of course, if the war will continue during the, uh, up to the election for Expo, uh, we'll have poor chance to win. Because also uh, important thing is uh, to uh, is the security uh, understanding of security uh, situation in a state uh, which will host sex. Yes, all we think that no war will will not continue to five or, or ten years. It doesn't mean that uh, we will not win or we will not have ch any chances, but it it really will be a big challenge. It's the main one. Uh, other something like organi organization moments, we also have a chance to um, to unite with some other competitors and to uh, find some solution. Will save our our participation in this uh, in this competition. So, what resources and support do you expect to receive from the authorities and community for the successful implementation of the project? Today, for the, our victory uh, and successful implementation of this project, we need, uh, mm, we need a united position from all levels of authorities. Uh, from community, from regional level, and from central uh, central government, uh, we need demonstrate and show to the International Bureau of Exhibition, to the all member states, uh, that Ukraine already Ukraine, Odessa city and Odessa region are ready to guarantee the success. Uh, construction of this project because it is not only the you know, one area where the exhibition will be it's about uh, preparations and uh, rebuilding of service for the citizens and for the peoples and for the tourists in the city in general we need united position of all levels of authorities and we need the guarantee to fix the budget uh, for, for, the, for the realization of this project. Now we are united? In my opinion, yes. I think that uh, the idea of Expo 2030 in Odessa, in general, it's, uh, it's uh, an idea for, for, for uniting the, all people, not only authorities, of all people, because this, it is a great chance to, you know, to rebuild Odessa, to make Odessa great again. We all need to think only about the future of the citizens of Odessa and Ukraine. In, the, in, the, in this process. If we look to the history of realization su the, such projects in other cities, uh, there are diversity um, system of uh, financing this project. It's included uh, the state uh, financing, the community budget, regional budget, as it, we, it, it was uh, in uh, in Dubai, the biggest part of uh, the financing of the budget uh, was 
from the international corporation, from the investments. Of course, in this uh, in the situation with Expo, there are different ways for financing this project. For example, one big company, for example, Shell or another one, will look at uh, on this November. Okay. Odessa is a winner for hosting uh, city uh, for Expo in 2030. Okay, our company wants to have its own pavilion, its own area to demonstrate and to show our company uh, on this great event because so many people from, uh, all, from all over the world with, which are very uh, active in economic science, in economic side, uh, will, be, uh, will, will come to Odessa. We are going to um, organizing committee to organizing city and said, okay, we are ready to invest on some infrastructure project or can help you to build something or to finance something. Uh, but uh, we, can, we, we can be a, a sponsor or partner of this uh, event. And uh, for example, one companies uh, will bid uh, by they sell some pavilions and uh, in another way, um, they will give money and uh, maybe the Odessa administration will beat it. So, uh, do you afraid about corruption point? Yes, it's very, it's very uh, serious question, but it's all about uh, realization process of uh, this project. And it will be a great a big task for authorities, first of all for, cent for central authorities, uh, to build an open system of uh, management of this project. On practice, e uh, every state will uh, create a state um, enterprise and uh, this uh, state company and this state company uh, will organize all the processes and uh, for the cities of Odessa. Or maybe, did you think about how to solve it? I think it's so early to, to discuss this, okay. but yes. For now, it, uh, the main task for all us is to win mm -hmm. uh, on the election. Mm -hmm. uh, after the winning, uh, we will be uh, in everyday communication and cooperation with International Bureau of Exhibition, with special mission which will review uh, every half of year uh, our cities. And uh, when we will be in, uh, in a point of uh, beginning of uh, realization of this project. How can uh, the Expo project um, affect uh, to the development of the culture and tourism in Odessa? We need to understand that Odessa is a great city in the world, in the history. Several months ago we also uh, get a uh, UNESCO heritage status for the city. But in, in our time world we, we don't provide big arguments, something point, something answer for the, for the people. Odessa is the capital of uh, culture or capital of uh, uh, entertainment or capital of uh, IT industry. First of all, we need to find the answer for this question uh, up before ourselves. Because if we will not find the, the answer for this question, the Expo will not affect with so res big result as a scan. Mm -hmm. Especially for you, what is Odessa? From my childhood, Odessa was a city of good mood, of city of celebration. Okay, uh, what opportunities uh, will open up uh, for the investors, including the foreigner investors uh, in uh, Odessa after the beginning of the Project Expo and uh, after in general the project? First of all, before uh, ex uh, winning the the chance to host Expo is a big indicator and big uh, magnet for investors, uh, first of all foreign investors, and because all uh, business in all over the world will understand that uh, during uh, during the preparation of uh, for Expo 2030 uh, in Odessa, in Odessa region, will be uh, will uh, will be a great construction. 
it's a, it will be a building of roads, building a rebuilding of airports, uh, uh, building the direct uh, railway between Kiev and Odessa, and preparation of the area where um, Expo will be. And this, it will be a, a big uh, economic activity. And uh, near the, this activity, uh, so much companies can find uh, its own uh, possibility to, uh, to, to reach money. It's, uh, as I mentioned, it's an in indicator before um, providing of Expo. Uh, after great event, after 2030, uh, we will have the situation when uh, so much people with, uh, which are very active in economic side will be in Odessa. And uh, they, all of them can, can look to this great city for, the, for, 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 this, for our region, for so much possibilities uh, of uh, providing new industries, new uh, cooperation, new way of uh, for, for their own business or creating something new investment projects. And we need to also to understand that even now we are as a region and as a country are very interested for, uh, for foreign investors. In all over the world uh, people know about Ukraine as an agriculture hub. But uh, only about uh, only from resources side. But for my mind, we uh, have a, a, a great possibility to uh, to build uh, agriculture industry, uh, agriculture enterprise, uh, which will provide the final product, not resources. As you see, uh, what uh, spheres in business can um, more develop after this? First of all, it's uh, an agriculture industry, of course. Uh, of course, it's also about the uh, IT sector. Uh, it's also about uh, logistics because uh, Odessa region is a big logistic hub for not only for Ukraine, for all Eastern Europe. And uh, our port infrastructure is not uh, fully active in all in in all possible activity. It's a territory for new investment projects in port infrastructure, for new uh, terminals and new new cargo terminals. In general, it is a port infrastructure, logistics, and of course tourism because during the expo uh, more than 15 for our calculation more than 15 million people will come to Odessa. Also question what will be after the project uh, with pavilions? It's a very interesting question because uh, really it's a big problem for all uh, hosting cities uh, before before Odessa and even for Dubai it's also a problem uh, and uh, during the running for Expo the inquiry mission from International Bureau of Exhibition looked to this answer um, very seriously because our state and our city must to answer why, uh, what will be after, uh, after the Expo in this area. Expo it's, it's not an organic project. I think that it will be a big uh, discussion after victory uh, uh, what will be with this territory after Expo. And uh, for me, I think it will be a great idea to, uh, to create there the big IT city uh, where the IT companies can uh, provide their business, uh, create new startups, and uh, people from this industry can also live uh, the, uh, on the territory. A big possibility for the city, for the community, because on that territory, if 20,000 uh, or 30,000 people from IT industry will live and work uh, there, uh, these people also spend, will spend money in, uh, in community buy uh, flats uh, or other, other properties, will uh, create other businesses and uh, will all uh, will, uh, buy uh, foods in our market. And uh, it's, uh, it's also a good chance for the economic development of community. And uh, in your opinion, what uh, will be the long-term consequences uh, in general for Ukraine? A big reputation point 
first of all. Uh, second, uh, it's an economic question because uh, uh, these people, uh, 15 or 20 million people, will come not only in Odessa, they, uh, they all will come to Ukraine. Someone from, uh, from Western board, uh, border on Lviv, someone from Uzhrod, someone from uh, Bessarabia, from Romania, and someone will come from uh, uh, from all over the world through uh, international airports in Kyiv. All we know about uh, uh, pro project big uh, big construction, yeah, before the uh, war uh, last year, and uh, the effect of this project is very very serious because so much people will have a working place. Uh, so much companies will also pay, pay tax uh, and uh, have uh, a big uh, sphere for development and for construction. And it's very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for this interview. I hope that Odessa will win. And also, thank you for your watching. We will see you soon on Kyiv Post channel.